from NBC4. Violence took place uh, across our community this weekend was truly horrific. The city of Columbus addressing a violent weekend in one of the most popular areas for nightlife, the short north. We now know that back to back shootings left 10 people hurt. Those victims between the ages of 18 and 27 all expected to survive. Tonight, faith leaders are weighing in on the violence, telling NBC4's Eric Halperin hope is not lost. And for the first time, we are seeing police worn body camera video of what was described as a chaotic scene. We begin with the latest on the investigations with Sierra Johnson from police headquarters. Sierra. I can tell you that media address just wrapped up. It was pretty lengthy compared to some of the other ones I've been to. I can tell you it started with a police chief addressing the two fatal domestic violence incidents that happened over the weekend and then segueing into the massive scene that played out in the short north. It also included the viewing of body camera video from two vantage points. Both of those CPD officers on foot walking with um, other city employees to inspect food cars. Now it was at that moment they were walking with those individuals on High Street conducting those uh, those investigations of the food courts when they encountered a fight. It took several minutes that fight playing out at 237 from there again several minutes that they worked to calm that scene. Very chaotic. It actually ended with several individuals being dispersed after being maced. From there you hear the shots being fired. That was around 240. Crowds continue to disperse and those officers began returning fire. Looking at the video from a journalist perspective, simply chaotic. It was something that I said and something that Chief Bryant said um, as that video was being played. She also said a total of 10 victims were found at that scene as well as 11 guns. She also emphasized that given the chaotic nature of that scene, it's going to take a while for BCI who's leading that investigation to be able to paint a clear picture picture of exactly what played out. Take a listen to Chief Bryant right now was an extraordinary event with a very large scene and large number of individuals involved. In addition to that, the Bureau of Criminal Investigations is conducting its own independent investigation of the officer-involved shooting, which means there's evidence inf and information we don't have access to. And it wasn't just Chief Bryant there at that press. We also heard from Columbus Mayor Andrew Ginther, um, as well as Councilmember Emmanuel Remy, all three of them doubling down that the violence does need to stop and urging lawmakers as well that something needs to be done. Common sense uh, laws need to be passed to help uh, slow the violence here in our city. There are some things we will push forward to coming up at five. We'll provide an update on the officers involved in this shooting. And you'll also hear more from the mayor of Columbus as well as council member Remy. But again, today, very emotional time as they played out that video. We will continue to play portions of that for you throughout our newscast. We're live in front of the headquarters of Columbus Police, Sierra Johnson, NBC4.